Welcome back to Frank's Variety Channel. As you can see, it is Christmas. It's festive. My son made this. It's a little gingerbread house. He's been taking some of the candies off of it. Because that's what you do with gingerbread houses. But that degrades. I, sorry, I, we're going to open up, we're going to open up this. My brother was nice enough to get me this for Christmas. I need a knife. I knew I forgot something. Ooh. I got a set of scissors. It's Christmas Eve. I hope everybody had a great year. I hope everybody has a great Christmas. I hope nobody does anything stupid during this holiday season. But you know that always happens. And my cat Wobbles is now playing with his Christmas toys. I'm going to open up this one. I feel kind of special. My brother bought me this one. It was really nice of him. I know it comes with this picture. It's not really that cool. Although I do like the art. I think the art is cool. Comes with that one. That one is kind of not cool. Really not cool. If I was going to frame it, I'd frame it this way just because you get the three bears and you get the little bait. Yeah. She's mean. She's a little meanie. Um, let's see what's. That one is awesome. Let's see if I can I light it. That's kind of cool. All right, well, this is the uh, Throne of Eldraine gift box. Make sure there's nothing in there. There's never anything in it, but I always make sure there's nothing in it. Throne of Eldrain gift box. So it's a little bit extra shiny. Packaging is a little extra shiny. The die or the uh, life uh, spin down is lighter, I believed. It's really kind of cool. And it's bigger. I, I like these big ones. Uh, uh, let's see here. 15. One. Okay, so it wasn't 15. It was one. One. Okay. It has, as we all know, it has. There's the Piper of the Swarm alternate art. One white, one black. It's the uh, Rat to Control Have Menace. And then, of course, one white, I'm sorry, one colorless, one black tap it, create a white, or create a one, one black rat creature. Token, two, and two black, tap it, sacrifice three rats, gain control of target creature. It's kind of cool. So one, three for two. This would be your land pack. I don't remember. I thought there was supposed to be, uh, oops. I thought there was supposed to be. What do they call it? Uh, foil lands. Yeah, 20 premium foils and 20 regular basic lands. So there'll be some foils, five of each foils in there somewhere, probably behind that one. You know, because they're already curling. Yep, that's not what it is. And that's the cat again going crazy. I need one of those. What are you doing there, crazy kitty? So... The gift pack comes with 10 of the regular Throne of Eldrains and one of the uh, specialties. So we're going to hold off on this one. I'm going to hold off on that one. We're going to go ahead and open these up. Okay. And we're going to go... Now... You're wondering, Frank, where have you been? What's going on? I haven't seen you in a whole entire month. You deleted so many videos. Well, to be honest, I got a little burnt out. 
I still like opening up the packs. I still buy them. I still check them, but kind of got burnt out about it. So I uh, turned off the, well, I didn't turn it off. I just stopped making videos. I deleted a whole bunch because I didn't want to get uh, in trouble with YouTube. I guess sometimes I do cough. I do talk uh, and say things I probably shouldn't. I don't have a filter in some cases. Dwayne, I'm going to go through these really quick. Separate the lands. All right. Epic Downfall, Rampart Smasher, and Castle Garenbrig. That's a nice one. Um... I also changed the name, as you know. I changed the name to uh, Frank's Variety Channel because I'm going to try some different things, honestly. Um, the wife would like to do, see me do some reaction videos. And I'm getting into uh, metal detecting as a hobby. Fishing, I've always fished. So uh, I'm probably going to do some extra videos about things like, you know, other things that I like to do. Because. That's what I like to do. And you're wondering, why are you separating those common lands? Because I have my reasons. Giant Opportunity. Another Epic Downfall. Inspiring Veteran. And Emery, Lurker of the Lock. Which is a good one. All the thumping and bumping you hear in the background is my uh, kitten. My <laughs> six-month, eight-month-old kitten... He got a fix. He might be a little older than that. Uh, he got fixed a couple of weeks back. And um, of course, it being Christmas Eve, there's things moving around outside. And he's wondering and, you know, kind of going a little crazy. So. All that glitters. So if you hear a little dum -dum 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 -dum, and then smack, that's because he likes to run up to the back window and hit it and try to make bugs move because the light attracts bugs. Once in future. And, ooh, which is Wish Claw Talisman. That's not actually a bad one. I never checked. Where were these made? These feel funny. I'm wondering if these are uh, yeah, made in the USA. I was wondering if they were. Ooh, got a foil. Foil forest. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, that was feeling kind of weird. So. They're a little, they're not as, uh, they're kind of matte, they're not as glossy, shiny as some of the other Throne of Eldraine I've opened. These a little bit on the matte side, flat side. You'll also notice that I haven't found one showcase yet. And you know how my luck is with these bundles. I think the last bundle I got, I didn't even get a Mythic. Not one Mythic in the entire thing. Oh, Edgewater, Edgewater, Edgewall Innkeeper. Good card. Heraldic Banner. Good card. Clackbridge Troll. Uh, it's there. It's got its It's got its goodness to it. <clears throat> so I'll be trying different things. Uh, this next year, the, the videos will be of a variety of stuff. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I want to do for fun and giggles. Because... That's what I like to do. Been really getting into uh, Commander. I don't know if all my Commander friends out there watch any of this, but yeah, I've been getting really, really into Commander. 
I haven't found anything here really that I want for Commander, but that's okay. I haven't found any showcases. I mean, I know this will have some showcase, but, you know, normally they sprinkle them in. One or two throughout the entire ten packs, so you'd think you'd get one or two. Huh, Piper of the Swarm. Somehow that somehow we knew we were gonna get that one, didn't we? Somehow we knew it. Oops. Oh not that one. That's the special one. This one we can open up. I thought I was a, a pack short somewhere. Do, do, do. Hope everybody's having a really good Oh, that one's that one's one of my favorite. Cost three, it's two three, one lost legion and it's battlefield scry two. I like it. I uh, hope everyone's having a great Christmas. Really do. I mean, personally, I mean, at work, I worked all day today. Kind of sucks when you have to work on Christmas Eve, but, you know, business got to run. It's not my business. Someone else's business. Someone else make money off my back. Kind of sucks, but that's what happens. Sundering Stroke. That one kind of sucks. Boy, I'm not getting good any good hits on this, am I? I'm just kind of happy. I feel bad that my brother bought me this, but at the same time, I'm kind of happy I didn't buy it because, yeah, the expected value is just not there anymore. I used to have good expected values out of some of these decks, but out of some of these uh, expand or uh, MTG products. But yeah, lately it's been uh, it's been tough. It's like Wizards of the Coast knows what the product is valued at and what a card is worth or going to be worth. It's almost like they have insider knowledge from, you know, I don't know, TCG. Fires of Invention. That one's everywhere right now. <laughs> yeah. You didn't see it, but my cat decided to jump straight up in the air and try to swat a bug on the other side of the window. Tomb Raider, flying when Tomb Raider's battlefield draw card. Anytime it's draw card is a good is a good time. Fires of Invention. Not bad. Skull Knocker Ogre, Fireborn Knight, Once and Future, and Escape the Wilds. Oh, come on, last pack, give me one mythic. One mythic, sorry, oh, yeah, one mythic. Give me something more. Making this box so great. Come on. I'll be honest, uh, I, they know. They, they've pulled them out. They've pulled out the uh, the money just to get people to buy this. They pulled out those good cards. See what I mean? Grumbly, the generous. Stone Coil Serpent. That's not bad. It's about a I think two to five dollar card right there. Actually, I think it's about two to three dollars. It's gonna go up. Well, here we go. This is the special one. This is the one that could uh, could have some really big hits in it. One Oko could be worth a lot of money. So let's go ahead and move those. I'm just going to put the regular foils with the regular foils. Run away. 
Borrow Witches, Wolf's Quarry, Knight of the Keep, Ooh, Reaper of Night. We're going to put some foil too. We're going to put that one here. Ooh, Dwarven Mine and Foil. Some land. Archon of Absolution, Revenge of Ravens, ah, Order of Midnight, okay, that's regular showcase, Lonesome Unicorn, and Greenberger, Green, Garenberg Carver, this is supposed to be the regular rare, ooh, there we go, Alayla, Artful Proca Pro Provocator, one, one white, one blue, one black. Fairy Warlock. She has flying, death touch, and lifelink. Other creatures you control with flying get plus one, plus zero. Whenever you cast an artifact or enchantment spell, create a one, one blue fairy creature token with flying. That's not bad at all. Look at her. Ooh. Aria, first of Lockthwain. This is the, the wide picture. We got one good one. Two good ones. Black, black, black. Whenever Aria, first of Lockthwain, or another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So this one's probably going to go in my uh, one of my commander decks. I don't know which one yet, but one of them. <clears throat> oh, Ember Cleave. Ooh. Oh, I think I just hit the freaking pay dirt on that one. Ember Cleave. Four and two red. Legendary artifact. Flash. The spell costs one less for to cast for each attacking creature you control. When Ember Cleave enters the battlefield, attach it to a target creature you control. The Crypt Creature gets plus one, plus one, and has Double Strike and Trample. Oh, that's nice. Mm. I'm probably going to put this one... Yeah, anyways. I'm not, I'm not going to put it in my Commander deck, but I'll, I'll... That one I will. So, if you like this video, please share. Or actually, you don't have to share. Just like it. Leave a comment down below. If you know anybody who's looking, uh, has ideas, put some ideas in the comment section. Really much appreciate it. Sorry for my fingers. I've been working on stuff all day today, and I do apologize for their nastiness. Um, great. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't the, uh, wasn't the greatest expected value, but I did get a couple of nice cards. Um, uh, once again, I'll put any value, I'll put it in the, uh, in the description. Uh, have a great night, and Merry Christmas.